My boyfriend stated he always thought this sub was a little too radical. Sitting together on our phones, I was scrolling through my subreddits yesterday. This one caught his eye, and he promptly stated the above. He also added I feel like people are just creating their own problems on here. Kind of an ick, not sure how I feel about that. Asked him to find a post on here that makes him feel that way, then have him explain why it does. 39M here. I often share threads from this sub with my partner and we talk about them together because this is one of the best places for me to learn about things totally outside of my experience but sometimes in hers. My husband started following and his only notes are on how he's shocked and feels so sad for women and disappointed with men because of the terrible experiences women share that they've had with men. Shit, he thinks this place is too radical? I'm in like five other subs that the majority of members don't like it here because it's not radical enough. I think that what we experience is pretty radical. I often felt the same at first, almost unsubbed at 1.2. But over time after seeing post after post of the same situations over and over again by different people each time, I realized it's not that this sub is too radical, it's that for a large portion of women this shit is the norm. It's honestly made me reevaluate a lot of things in my life by lurking on here. I'll probably catch just as much shit, but I've always found this place to be a little more surface level on a lot of issues. Not the opposite of radical, but not radical either. This is not a dig. I can't be mad at people for being in a stage of learning. I just think it's a funny contrast to ARP's partner's view. Ask him for specific examples. Triangular flag on post triangular flag on post. If you want to give him the benefit of the doubt I'd give him my phone, tell him to scroll, and ask what topics here he thinks are radical. That'll tell you if he's just parroting what he heard still a problem but a smaller one or if he is actually a misogynist. If by a little too radical he means women standing up for themselves and lifting each other up through our experiences well yes. I suppose we are a little too radical. I think it can be. I've seen some posts here where I kinda side either comments. Overall, I do think it's a good representation of the overall experience of being a woman. I relate to more posts here than any other subreddit. This sub has such a bad rep on Reddit for being rabidly insane and I always kinda chuckle when it comes up. I guess to be fair, if you didn't have any first-hand experience here but you'd heard about it and kinda just formed an idea based on some of the wilder stuff it gets compared to you'd probably think it was super extreme. Super SY Reddit put this sub right on the front page when nobody asked for that. Maybe ick but I think the best thing to do is actually have healthy discussions with the men in our lives because like Harper Lee said you never really understand a person until you consider things form his point of view, until you climb inside of his skin and walk around in it. Just ignore the hot takes and vent threads and you can learn a lot and read a lot of interesting perspectives. If you can ignore dudes venting on women, you can ignore women venting on dudes too. This sub is radical. It's also tubular, far out, etc. This place is tame AF. Most subs can get a little echo chamberish. But this is a sub for women to support each other and for men to listen, learn, and contribute their perspective as long as it's constructive. If that's not what he's looking for, he's in the wrong place. Define radical. I'd love to see what he thinks is radical in the men's subs. Women wanting human tights, access to medical care, and to not be raped is radical. A post on this sub with 8,000 votes so about four times as popular as this post got removed for promoting hate a week ago because the OP talked about wishing to hunt people for sport. Is that radical enough for you? Does he talk about the extremism women are up against? I mean, it's a place to vent. People don't come here to air the mundane parts of their lives. They share what's occupying their mind which given human psychology tends to be the bad. The assault on women's rights sure doesn't help. Hell, as a dude that doesn't want kids, it scares me and I'm not the one that has to carry it. Radical in the notion women are people? 
To some people, women with opinions will always be too radical because often those opinions will run contrary to the opinions of the average CIS straight white man and will cause other people to question the status quo. His I feel like people are just creating their own problems is starting to get a little too close to your acting hysterical for my taste. His being broadly dismissive and has already made up his mind that the issues that people bring up here aren't worth considering because they are not real. You independent ad 6246, seriously? Us women talking about feminine issues we deal with in our everyday lives is a little too radical? I would think you two looking through this subreddit would generate discussions about what life is like for the average woman, this has potential as a great learning opportunity for him to try to understand what your reality is like. I'm also curious on how women create most of our own problems. Well he's not wrong. Some of the posts do slant beyond reasonable. I see a lot of men complaining about this sub on other subs, saying we're all crazy man-hating feminists. Their attitudes only reiterate that women need women-only spaces so we can feel safe sharing our experiences. I found this sub because someone on unpopular opinion stated it was too radical, and people jumped on the bandwagon and basically said it's full of lonely, bitter, man-hating women. I am neither, and I haven't seen much of what those people were talking about. Is there any real radical subreddit intended for women's perspectives? Asking for a friend. 100% valid ICK. Run. 33M chiming in with everyone else. Been subbed here as long as I could remember. I work in a male-dominated, blue-collar industry. This is the other half of my human race. I want to know what problems they are facing and what things I can do to help. Here is where I learn a lot of it. What I feel as someone who doesn't come here often is that if someone were to stay on this sub too much it could radicalize her him to be very anti-men and that is frightening to me to be seen as one of those men even though I don't and won't share any characteristics with them other than what I have between my legs. I already have some kind of rejection dysphoria, the thought of someone thinking of me as someone with violent tendencies just because of what I am is damaging me. The big question is does he actually know the sub or did he assume this because it's a majority women sub and women's issues? Because if he's never read the sub stories that shows a level of misogyny you should run from. Sounds like women being intelligently loud and opinionated scare him. Block. Delete. It's a bit of a red flag, but I think if you deconstruct where he's coming from it could be innocent. Remember that thread on female separatism? There were definitely some opinions and comments that I thought were too extreme. I mean, I think female separatism is extreme so. Married 57-year-old male with two kids in their teens. Love this sub. I read, I listen, and I learn. It helps me be a better husband, father, and boss. Always reflect and work on yourself. Easiest way to avoid being or becoming an asshole. Something important to keep in mind is that men will never know what it's like to interact with men as a woman. They only know what it's like to interact with men as a fellow man. So, when they try to give any advice on heterosexual relationships, feminism, etc. just know that they are coming from a perspective that we will never understand and vice versa. This is why having female friendships is so vital your male partner may be the best boyfriend on earth but will still never truly understand our unique struggles as women. I've heard a lot of both men and women day that. There's certainly a very strong tendency for this sub to respond in certain ways. IDK though just saying that's what I've heard. I'm just a passer through. My husband loves this sub and is happy I'm here. Time to throw the man away. My ex once made a comment that he thought Drew on TikTok was being unnecessarily mean. While he was never a tater tot, that was a canary moment that foreshadowed other ultimately incompatible beliefs. Take note and listen to your gut. Feel free to delete this but I used this sub to remind me what the other half of people on this planet might feel and what the hell happened to them to arrive at their mindset. 